So do you think some of these antics are ruining your cause now? Uh, thanks for having me on. Um, no, not at all. I mean, and also lots of people are saying they agree with our message, but not our method. So I think now is the time to stop talking about tactics, stop talking about super glue and soup and start talking about the message. The government wants to open 100 new oil licensing and that is a death sentence. But if, if your case is so strong, I mean, we, we live in a democracy, we don't live in a dictatorship. If your message is so strong, we have elections, you can stand for election, you can support candidates who uh, argue for the things that you do. Why don't you try and win your argument through the ballot box rather than these sort of rather self-indulgent tactics of ruining everybody's lives and stopping ambulances going, get, going down roads? Um, well, that's a great idea. I think people have been trying that for 70 years. The science has been clear for 70 years and successive governments have ignored that. Now is the time for actions, not words. And if, if broadcasters and journalists like yourself were telling the true message, we wouldn't need these methods. Well, I mean, you're just saying that we've been trying that for 70 years. It just means that you can't get elected. So that just means that your view isn't particularly popular. And that's in a democracy. Surely what counts is, uh, is the majority opinion, not sort of uh, a, few, a, a bunch of uh, a minority of extremists trying to get their own way because they can't get it through the ballot box. That's not surely how things work in a democracy. No, I apologise. I was, I was using the more general approach that people tell us that we should write petitions and, and do those sort of methods. Um, now is is the time for action. I am in civil resistance against this corrupt government. I'm just a single mum from Essex. I'm here to look after the future of my son. I mean, do, do you have uh, children and loved ones that you care about? And are you going to be happy to be at this pivotal point in history, standing by and doing nothing? How will history look back on, on the actions of, of yourselves?